So hey, Frank Paris here with my new uh, Chirping Bird, remote control Chirping Bird. This is um, a piece of Automata, A-U-T-O-M-A-T-A. -A. You can look that word up. These are uh, uh, Chirping Birds. Uh, the first incarnation that I saw in Magic, incarnation, I should say, that I saw in Magic, where something like this was being used, was by a fellow named Del Rey, who was a magician, who worked with electronics a lot in his act. And you can find his act up on my channel, uh, Magician Frank Paris, um, on YouTube. You can find that up on my YouTube channel. And you will find uh, his act, his close-up act. And at one point uh, in, I believe, uh, part two of uh, four parts of these separate videos that are up there on him. He is doing a a trick with a chirping bird similar to this one. Uh, his original one looked like this with the cage. Uh, he then took the cage off. There's one with the cage off. Uh, and he um, just worked with the bird like so. Um, my friend Nick Wenger, N-I-C-K Wenger, W-E-N-G-E-R, makes a bird, uh, a key box, a box which uh, only one key opens up, uh, which you would hand to an audience. Each one would get a key and then only one of the keys would open up. It would either be his or uh, the person who has the other key and they can switch and you can play the game. The byplay there is that uh, one of the keys opens up the box and when he opens up the box, out comes the bird. And he interacts with the bird in the video and shows you uh, a car trick, which is very nicely done by Del Rey. And this was the first incarnation that I saw of this uh, kind of a bird being used in a magic trick. And so I decided uh, in homage or in honor of Del Rey to build uh, using uh, these beautifully crafted 1950s uh, chirping birds. And these are collector's items within themselves without them being a magic trick. And I have restored uh, these birds um, um, and uh, created uh, a, a way of activating them using a remote control, which is what you're looking at right now. Uh, so that when you press the button, the bird chirps and you can have an interesting by play where you're doing a trick like Del Rey and you're saying to the bird, Hey, listen, uh, I need your help with this trick. Uh, the audience members want to, uh, uh, to see how I do this card trick and you being the bird are going to guess what card they picked. Okay. And of course the bird comes back and says something and you say, what do you mean? You don't know how to do that trick. You have to know how to do that trick. Anyway, just an idea. Another friend suggested the other day where you took the you take the inverted multicolored dice, the red, blue, and white ones, okay, and you hand a dice to each individual, and the bird guesses uh, who has the the dice, uh, who has the blue dice, who has the red dice, and who has the white dice. And then, of course, if you want the bird to answer what number is on the dice, then you can have him chirp anywhere from one to six for each individual. And that could be part of the trick, which was a pretty, pretty good idea and a great little idea for using your Ann Verde dice. So uh, these and other uh, routines and uh, ideas you will come up with yourself. If you want to own one of these guys, you can contact me via a PM, a private message or up on Facebook, I'm up there, Magician Frank Paris. Uh, or you can email me at V as in Victor, O-Y-A-N-T, the number five at O-P-T online.net. And these are called the Delray Chirping Birds by Frank Paris. And they are beautifully crafted, restored and rejuvenated, uh, refurbished if you like chirping birds and the added remote control mechanism now makes them wireless. Frank Paris over and out.